All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, generate random whole numbers with JavaScript. So we can generate, ra pardon me, generate random decimal numbers with math.random, but sometimes we need to generate random whole numbers. The following process will give us a random whole number that is less than 20, all right? So we'll use the uh, math.random function to uh, generate a random decimal number. Then we'll multiply that random decimal number by 20. And then we'll use math.floor to round this number down to its nearest whole number, right? So remember that uh, math.random can never quite return a one. So it's impossible to actually get 20 since we're rounding down with math.floor. Uh, this process will give us a random whole number in the range from zero to 19. So putting everything together, this is what our code's gonna look like. We'll have uh, math.random in here times 20, and then we'll wrap that up in parentheses and have math.floor uh, on that so it'll round it down, whatever this is down, right? Uh, so we're calling math.random to reiterate, multiplying the result by 20, and then passing the value to math.floor to round the value down to the nearest whole number. And if, if you didn't notice, uh, one of the things we do a lot when we're uh, doing this stuff is we'll do the first thing inside of something and then we go out, right? So this is the first thing we do, the math.random, then we do times 20, and then we do math.floor on top of that. So that's usually the uh, workflow. Sometimes it's not like that, but uh, most times it is like that. So we're gonna use this technique to generate and return a random whole number in the range from zero to nine. Okay, so we've already, pardon me, so we've already got math.random right here. So let's multiply this by 10. So times 10. And then let's wrap this up in parentheses and say, uh, what is it, math.floor? Math.floor, all right? So let's come down here, do a uh, console.log, and then we'll say uh, random, random, random whole num like this. Oh, don't forget to wrap it in parentheses or put the parentheses. So we see two, and if we put any kind of number in here, it's just going to give us a random. It doesn't matter. Uh, but the thing is, I mean, we're done. This works. Look, it works, right? But uh, the thing is, that's ridiculous. Zero to nine, come on now. Uh, the thing we can do to make this one to 10 is if we do math.seal, right? As in sealing, like floor and ceiling. And uh, let's just keep going. See if we can get a uh, 10 out of this before I give up. Uh, well, trust me, there will be a 10 at some point. There will never be a zero when we use math.seal. Uh, but let's uh, go back to math.floor because they're not going to let us do uh, math.seal on this. Anyway, so let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to generate random whole numbers within a range. And we'll see you next time.